Hi viewers, Ben with SkyFi Audio in Glen Rock, New Jersey. Fernando is out of the shop today, but we had so much new stuff come in that he wanted me to take a quick look around and show you guys all the new equipment. So it's beginning of August, 2023. Let's start out with bay one. We just finished servicing this beautiful Yamaha CR2020 vintage receiver. Did a bunch of maintenance on the power supply just to get it stable. These have some service bulletins that need to get done. So really nice vintage piece here. Had a couple interesting sets of speakers come in yesterday. This is a mystery pair of Electrovoice three-way speakers from maybe late 50s, early 60s. We do need some help identifying these, so if you recognize them, please put a note in the comments. Next up, we have a pair of Alltech Granadas. These are an acoustic suspension design. Uh, that's not typical for, for the Alltech stuff. This is a little bit later, but it's an acoustic suspension, so when we put pressure on the cone, you can see we've got a sealed cabinet. It takes a while for the, for the woofer to come back to rest. The top is horn loaded and it uses the typical crossover that we commonly see on these. We also have another set of these XCS 200 speakers from Macintosh available. Move over to our photo cart. A lot of stuff here is outgoing, but we do have a couple pieces that are getting ready to go. This is an AGI preamplifier from the 1970s. It has a very nice phono stage in it, um, very flat uh, frequency response. Got a Class A Audio 10, very nice Class AB power amplifier, very well built. I was very impressed with how this one looked inside. Audio Research LS2. This is a hybrid line stage. It's just a single tube in this one, but very nice, well-performing uh, preamp or line stage if you want to get into audio research. Down here, very cool amplifier from Class A. This is a CAV500. And it's about 300 watts per channel by five. Very, very well-built amplifier. Nice sync and output devices. Big power supply. This is an awesome, awesome amp. On the test rig, we had this one coming yesterday. We just had to do some routine maintenance on it and get uh, some tubes replaced and the bias going. This one is now up and running. We have the remote. This is a Rogue Audio Cronus Magnum. Uses KT120s and push-pull. One of the nice features about this amplifier is the user can very easily set the, the bias with um, a set of adjustment points that's underneath this little guy here. So if we pull this off, you can just flip over each um, measurement point individually and set the bias of each output tube. So it's always nice on tube amplifiers to give the end user some bias adjustment. We had a couple pairs of these monitor audio bronze ones come in. This will be an affordable bookshelf speaker. We have two pairs of these to offer. Let's head to the island. I've got a lot of stuff displayed here. Start on this side. So we've got a pair of MC30s here. These will go into our restoration queue. They're in uh, pretty much original condition, so they need some, some work to be stable. This is a pretty unique set of MC40s. They were custom made by Mac for GSC, and when we uh, researched this company, it looks like they made very high precision equipment for um, auditory testing, for like hearing tests and stuff. So this is kind of a cool set of amplifiers that has some, you know, a little extra historical significance, and it's wired up a little bit differently than a normal Mac amp. So those will get fully gone through. 275 Mark IV. This is when they switched over to the polished stainless chassis, but before they switched to the big gold terminal. So this is kind of a, a transitional MC275. We do have the cage with it and the original box. C47 preamp, very uh, full of features. This, this preamp has a built-in DAC and this would have been in the era where you can't swap it out. So you're stuck with this DAC, but it's, it's very good. You can do USB into it, uh, and it has balanced in and out. Very fully featured, nice looking preamp for Mac. Levinson number 23. Again, very well-built amplifier from Mark Levinson. Around the corner here, also from Levinson, we have an ML9. 
This amplifier is funny because the spec sheet rates it at 100 watts per channel, but it bench tested to almost 240 watts per channel. So it's a little bit confusing what they were doing there, but very high powered class AB amplifier. Another set of those bronze ones. Conrad Johnson PV12. Um, no phono stage installed in this one, but a very good line stage. You can see that there's almost no electrolytic capacitors in it. It's really just this, this one uh, filter near the, the rectifiers. Socketed relays, so in case it would relay ever failed, you can easily just socket in a new one. These earlier Conrad Johnson preamps are just very good performers all around. Got a Wadia Digimaster X32 early DAC. Has optical and coax inputs on it. That's about it for the table. Let's head over to the tech area. We had a bunch of reel-to-reels come in. Um, I think we're going to get at least two of these Pioneers going. Uh, I believe we have an Akai too. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing with these. So we've got a TAC, another TAC, and a couple of the of the smaller Pioneers. I had this turntable coming yesterday. This is a Techniques SL 1350. So this is a um, semi-automatic turntable that will do auto return uh, and stop the record for you. In kind of ongoing repairs, we're working on this C2200. It's ready to go. I just need to do some uh, work on the meters. The, we're replacing the, the meters and the blue film so that the meters look a little bit nicer. These, these tend to age a little bit with the hot incandescent lamps. So we're kind of freshening up that faceplate a little bit. We've got a new face going on a 7270. Got a Fisher 500 that we're still working on. This is cool. This is an MA230 from Macintosh. I just finished the restoration on this piece. So we've got our customized capacitors and stuff installed. There's a lot of parts that needed to get replaced in this one. And we're just waiting on a couple more uh, transistors and a new set of output tubes and this will be ready to list. So keep an eye out for that if you're looking to collect it in, oh sorry, I said MA230. This is a Mac 1500. It has an amp output section similar to an M MA230, but it is a receiver. So it has a built-in tube tuner, solid state preamp, much like a C24, and then an output stage like an MA230. We also just finished a electronic restoration on this Marantz 2325, uh, high powered 1970s solid state receiver, very good performer. We're just doing some final touches on the metal covers and this one will be listed. So if you're into vintage Marantz, look out for that one. It's gonna be a real beauty when it's done. Uh, a couple Adcom amps came in. I just need to do some basic service on these. They're pretty much running, but we need to do some preventative maintenance just to make them stable. So this is a GFA 555 and a 555 Mark II. On the bench, just getting ready to test this threshold phono stage. We also got in another one of these Adcom speaker selectors with the um, balancing resistors. This kind of allows you a little bit of safety margin when, when doing speaker switching. So these always sell quickly. Got a um, entry level Nakamichi two head cassette deck that will be going up shortly. These have been in high demand lately. And let's take a look at the Mac wall. We had a bunch of, of new Mac pieces that we finished up recently. An MA6200 integrated. MC2120 power amplifier. This is like a 2125 without meters. Uh, these used to be able to be offered with uh, optional rack ears. So this is more of an industrial amplifier, but really it's a 2125. Just save a little bit of money if you don't need the meters. Um, finished up another 7270. So we've got another one of those available. I don't know if we ever covered this in a previous video. Um, MI4 performance indicator, maximum performance indicator for Mac. This one we fully went through. It got a new piece of glass and uh, that's pretty much ready to go. I think that's about it. Oh, this Fisher just came in. This one was previously restored. We just kind of freshened it up, got the, the bias all set and cleaned all the controls and stuff. That one's good to go. And then I guess we'll close out with, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. We did a custom rally livery on this Sky 5 vehicle here. And that's about it. 
Thanks for sticking along for this video and uh, like and subscribe the channel if you're interested in this content. You can visit us at skyfiaudio.com and if you're interested in getting our weekly emails on Fridays, go ahead and sign up for that email blast on our website if you're interested in seeing the latest stuff that we're putting up for sale. Okay, thanks again for stopping by the channel. We'll catch you on the next one.